Oh snap, done changed up the formula. No title screen intro for y'all, man. We jumping straight into the action with the Sword and Shield this time. Um, I actually got a mic, man, so the audio quality should go up, you know what I mean? And I can jump in and out and just speak to y'all periodically. Uh, so no, no more of that text box nonsense, unless I make a mistake or something. But uh, yeah, back, back at it, man. We got the Sword and Shield. Um, really like when it's weapon fields, man. It's a do anything weapon. Um, and it's a whole lot more complex than I remember. Last time I, I really played the Sword and Shield was uh, in 4U. No, 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 I lied. Generations. I played this joint in Generations. Uh, really liked it in that game. Um, and, and it was, you know, not, not quite this complicated, man. This thing got uh, all sorts of stuff. Because in the beginning of the video, man, I, I didn't use a single perfect rush because I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't play it a lot in Worldborn. Uh, so I didn't have that muscle memory. But uh, once I quote unquote took the weapon in training mode I came I came to grips with it and you you'll see Hey, yo, shout out Neil the Palamute, man, uh, for finishing up this KO, but this is partially what I meant by, like, do anything weapon. Like, you can get KOs with this thing like, way easier than I remember. Um, I remember, like, playing Try, playing some SNS and Try, and, like, you know, getting a KO with the sword and shield was almost like a meme because of how hard it was, but, dude, now it's super easy to grab KOs in between, like, all these jumping attacks where you can slam through shield. Uh, the, the shield bash they added like a third hit to the shield bash combo. It used to just be like those first two hits, the boom boom. Now they added a third one, which does like a lot of damage. Bow, there it goes. Yeah, you see me do it right there. Um, does a lot of KO damage. I feel because I was KOing this thing left and right, man. Did y'all see that? Y'all see how I use that falling shadow to hit the sub button? You should do the same with your mouse if you want more content. Anyway, um, yeah, man, falling shadow. That's the uh, the silk bind art. Ooh, I use both the silk bind arts here. So falling shadow, that's that silk bind art. You rise up really high, and if you uh, time it right on the way down, you do like a big bash on the way down. Um, if you hit the monster's head, you do a bunch of KO damage, which is how I scored that KO earlier. Um, yeah, man, really liking the way that it feels, because like, it does both KO damage and uh, mounting damage. I'm gonna call it mount because I'm an old head. Uh -huh. Boom! So, another KO just like that. I really love the Fallen Shadow. Uh, in general, with this game, I'm loving the way like the movement works. Like once you get the handle of using your wire bugs and you zip around everywhere, and you really, really get a good feel for how to move around the map. This game is feeling extra good. I'm loving it.
Oh my god, I'll never get tired of that. Um, I've been a hammer main for most of like my Monster Hunter career, so like I really, really love getting the KO on monsters. And uh, as you can tell from the previous clips, man, I am knocking this thing out. Uh, it goes back to my, you know, sword and shield is the do anything weapon. I got a mount earlier, super easy on accident, but it's like using these arts builds up a bunch of mounting damage. I'm getting KOs left and right. Um, this weapon can cut tails too. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in the Monster Hunter series, man, you can cut the tails off of certain monsters. Um, so yeah, this this weapon really is the do anything weapon of this game. But you know, the skill ceiling is a little bit higher than it used to. See, in the past, it was kind of like a uh, here's a super simple weapon. It's a sword and shield, and you can block, so the block will bail you out of tough situations. But you know. As you can see, the, the gameplay is a lot more complex. It is around this point where I start like really working in some perfect rushes. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Rise up. Bow. And I get a KO on top, you know? Um, so it, it, it's really uh, a fun weapon to use because you can just keep up the onslaught with all the options at your disposal and just keep mixing it up, you know? Like a Smash player. Man. These mix ups are on point with the sword and shield. So, yet another perfect Fallen Shadow, right? But this time we don't get the KO, we actually get the, the Wyvern ride, excuse me. I've been calling him Mount. It's my 14 days talking. So yeah, we, we execute that perfectly, right? We drop down. I was like, alright, cool. Let's continue going, let's continue going. Let me check this out. And I, I get a perfect door going. Pow, 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 pow. Loving it, loving it. Boom, we jump up. Bow, straight into a KO. Like, this thing still hasn't recovered from being ridden to the wall three times. Um, and we just keep it going, we just keep it going. And like, yeah, you move around quite a bit when you uh, use the sword and shield, but look how easy it is to reposition and get back into a favorable position like, just by combo. You know, you never have to stop hitting the monster. It's not like a weave in and out like a great sword or a hammer type deal. And then this move comes with your plays. Bop, 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 bop. So you just never have to stop, you just keep it going. choices on the fly so rather than finishing up the falling shadow and ending up an end lag stuck on the ground um, I noticed that he tripped as I ran into him from the falling shadow so I just decided all right cool I'm just gonna fall down uh, do a perfect rush and in my perfect rush I score another KO right so I was like all right cool I'm just gonna keep this going and, and just keep up the onslaught right which is like part of the whole this weapon does everything right because I'm scoring, uh, you know, mounting damage with the with the silk bind arts. I'm getting these KOs. I'm creating large openings that are easy to take advantage of because of the, you know the sword and shield's move set, man. It's Triple shield bash go crazy, man. I really love that move. Uh, really leads into getting a lot of KOs, man. Yeah, if you made it this far, man, thanks for watching. You know, that's that's the end of the vid. That's the end of the sword and shield montage. Um, got more 
content coming for you soon and uh, I'm gonna get a capture card in. I actually make these videos only using the Switch's capture function and by like slamming these clips together. Uh, but got, got more content coming for you. I'm gonna do like my history with Monster Hunter so you guys get a better feel of who I am as a hunter. But anyway, I'm out. Uh, comment down below and like. Thanks.